Hello, I'm Keith Hilson with Schmidt Music, and in this video we are going to learn how to hold our trombone and how to make our first note on our trombone. So, when we play a brass instrument, we know that we take vibrations that are created through our lips and our instrument, our trombone takes that and funnels it and focuses and amplifies it and turns it into the trombone sound. So how do we cause this vibration to happen in the first place? Well, we understand, of course, that our lips need to vibrate, but they're not going to vibrate just on their own. They need help. Specifically, we need to use air to help them vibrate. Air is such an important part of what we do as brass players. Just from the very beginning here, we're gonna talk a lot about air. So how do we use that air? Let's talk about how we're gonna breathe in, how we're gonna breathe out. When we breathe in or when we breathe out, we want to use that air as best we can. We want our body to be bringing in as much air as we can. We want our body to be putting that air out as best we can. So to breathe in, what we wanna do is we wanna make a nice open shape with our mouth, like we're yawning or like we're saying, oh, like this, and when we breathe in, we want to let our whole upper body, our lungs and ribs, everything expand outward like that. What we don't want when we breathe in to, is to hear a tight, high sound like or like that. That means that our body is getting in the way of the air. We're tight and tense, and that's gonna make it much more difficult to move that air. We want a nice, low, open sound like like that, so we inhale and let everything blow up like a balloon. And when we exhale, we want to focus that air coming out of our mouth. I want you to picture taking that air and putting it through the wall in front of you. Like that, let's do this together here. So breathe in and out. One more time, expand and focused air. Good, now that we're getting the air moving, what do we have to do with our lips? With our lips, we want to think of making a shape like we're saying M or humming. M, hum, like that. And we're not making our lips tight and we're not trying to scrunch them down or anything. We just want them to make a natural M shape. M, and we want to keep those corners nice and firm. And what we're gonna to do to create the vibration we need is not hum, we're not gonna make a noise, a sound with our voice, our vocal cords here. We're gonna make the shape with our lips and instead we're going to put the air right through. And hopefully what we should get is like that. Again, M shape, corners firm, inhale. And if we can't get that buzz to happen right away, that's okay because guess what? We don't just take that vibration and put it right into the instrument, we have help. Specifically, we use a mouthpiece. The mouthpiece serves as a way to not only channel the sound into the instrument, but more importantly, it helps us to create the sound in the first place. The mouthpiece, what we call the rim, which is this part, the large part of the mouthpiece, the rim sits right on the middle of our lips, like so, and the cup helps to channel the air and the vibration into the trombone. So what we're gonna do is we're going to inhale just like we did before. We're gonna make that same M shape like we did before, but now we're gonna put the mouthpiece right on the middle of our lips. And hopefully when we exhale, we're gonna get like that. So let's try that again. So inhale, Lips in the M shape, mouthpiece rim right on the middle of our lips, and and once we can get that buzz to happen, then we can start playing around with changing the pitch. We can make it higher or lower. We can do that by slightly changing the shape of our lips inside the mouthpiece and by changing our air. So we can make it go like that. Once we get that buzz to happen, now we can put it with the instrument. All right, so here we have our trombone. Now, just a reminder from the last video where we taught you how to take it out of the case, when you take it out of the case, 
you're going to have two halves. You're going to have the bell here and you're going to have the slide. And just a reminder, we want to keep everything upright, up and down vertical. And we're going to take the bell and we're going to sit it right on the slide receiver here. And we're just going to go like that. And we're going to make a nice 90 degree angle, kind of a V shape there. And we're going to take this collar that we have here and we're just going to screw it down until it's just tight. We don't want to over tighten it. We want to make it just tight enough so that everything holds in place. Now, how do we hold our trombone? The easiest way to do this is to take our left hand and we're going to say, how you doing? Like this, like you're talking to somebody, you saw your friend, hey, how are you? We're going to take our hand just like that and it's gonna go like this. So we're gonna take our thumb and that's gonna go right underneath here and we're gonna take our other three fingers and we're gonna go right down in here and then our first finger can go right up on top like that. So again, how you doing? Everything fits in just like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, the neck pipe, and that's gonna sit right on our shoulder like that. Finally, we're gonna take our mouthpiece here. We're gonna take the mouthpiece and put that inside the mouthpiece receiver right here. The shank, the small part of the mouthpiece fits in just like that. And you don't have to crank it down. You don't have to push hard. You can give it just a little twist and it's gonna sit perfectly in place. And then we're gonna hold our trombone again and we're gonna put it on our shoulder. We're gonna take our right hand and we're going to grab hold of the brace here. Um, there are different ways to hold it. I like thumb and two fingers, just like this. And we're gonna bring this up to our mouth, just like this. And then we're gonna do just like we did with the mouthpiece. We're going to inhale, make our M shape, put the rim on the middle of our lips, and hopefully we get... like that. And again, if that sound doesn't happen right away, that's okay. It may take practice. Once we get that first note to play, then we can start growing from there. You can start going through all of your different band materials and doing all of the great learning you're going to do. But again, if it doesn't happen right away, that's okay. It may take time. You can go back to the previous step. Can I get to happen there again? Can I get that sound? If I can, Let's come back to the trombone here again as well. And of course, if you ever have questions, we highly recommend you talk to your band instructor. They're gonna be able to help you one-on-one. -on -one. But hopefully this is going to be a great start for you. You have an exciting start to your journey as being a trombone player, being a musician. Enjoy it, practice hard, and please keep making music. <laughs>